Look, I won't pretend I understand it, babe, the afterlife and all But as you died, you promised me that you would try to write or call And I've been waiting ever since Every Sunday I hold seances with like-minded adults And roll your corpse into the living room And try to find your pulse and then repine at the results I've even got my windowsills lined up with ultraviolet bulbs Shrunken shrines of human skulls and other signs of the occult But now I'm at a fucking loss, cause honey, nothing seems to work Like I've been astrally projecting my body beyond my dreams Through the fabric of space and time so you could spot me at the seams I ventured through the upside down hoping you caught me in between but maybe if you've got the tech then you can haunt me on my screens like you should infiltrate my newsfeed i swear no one would notice you could float beside some bogus buzzfeed quiz about the potus be a pixelated phantom ghost on clickbait propaganda posts and dictate what you're thinking through a catchy headline like one weird reason why it's great to be ethereal or 20 signs you're dead now and your soul is immaterial or if it's late at night then you could swoop in from the shadow realm and talk to me through pop-up ads that show up over adult films on anything you're into we could start with mail for Facial. You could beam your interspatial spirit into interracial If you're feeling sort of formal, we could pizza date on Skype And I could call the corner over and we could share the corner slice When it's time to go to bed, then we could leave our cameras on And if the netherworld has one day shipping free on Amazon Then you could slumber as you ship yourself I swear the shit delivers quick Or send me the address and I could meet you by the river sticks On Twitter beef with Namtar by the Tigris and Euphrates I could snap you while I'm snagging sacred threads of life from Hades I would loot to odd and photocopy pirate the papyrus Change the records and then have a face Facebook flame war with Osiris, and either way, I can't wait to talk or reunite. I've been so lonely since you died, I've tried to walk towards the light. And if the gods of death oppose or harmless want to reconvene, then maybe we could sneak you by him if you haunt me through a screen. It's been far too long that you and I have been alone. You could rectify that if you haunt me through my phone. No, I don't want to deal with voodoo dolls and I'm just frustrated, I guess. I've hung out in countless graveyards, drawn pentagrams and slaughtered goats, and even took a course on hunting ghosts from Pentecostal folks, but never once have gotten close. Last month I sat with local psychics and their crystal jewels, and tried to find my old T-Mobile sidekick phone from middle school, just so maybe if you're bored of fortune-telling tarot cards and magic words, then you could tweet 140 characters, so I could throw away my voodoo dolls and stop chanting my juju mantras that my guru taught us, and if you slide into some YouTube comments, you could scroll the comment page or you could leave it blank. If your specter is perceptible, we tell him it's a prank And if you still don't send responses I'd assume the problem's technical And I would call Verizon Just so someone could inspect it all I'd tell him I just want a close encounter With a spectral kind He'd ask if we turned on our modem router For a second time And plugged it in correctly To the voltage power socket line And tried to tear a portal hole Through to your paranormal soul So me and you could catch up On a toll-free spirit mortal call Or we could see a witch doctor She'd probably be skeptical Clinician with a stethoscope The specimen not skeletal The symptoms metaphysical The convalescent soulless At first First, your diagnosis could be we should try hypnosis But truthfully, if you could choose the way that you're reborn I hope you use the 3G phone and you eschew the Ouija board And at this point, I don't really know why I learned ESP for When you could just descend and settle in my USB port Or my NVIDIA GeForce or my video AV cord There's no need for Santa Muerte when I've got a QWERTY keyboard We could play a game of esports, you and I'd be on a team And if you're feeling odios, I'll put my audio on stream I'll still have your favorite games, babe, I've got them all on Steam We'll get started when you're ready, once you want me to it's been far too long that you and I have been alone You could rectify that if you haunt me through my phone No, I don't want to deal with voodoo dolls and figurines I could do without them if you'd haunt me through my screen Shotgun beer while everybody's staring at him, hope he's not coming near. But house parties ain't his thing, 
so we just drink to the bar. But bars really ain't his thing, so we just drink to this car. Used to be an extrovert, but people make him disconcerted now. Just to start his day, he's gotta swallow six concerters down. Down to fifth of Hennessy, hit a joint of Persian bud. Sacrifice a unicorn and drink a pint of virgin blood. And that's just for the morning. Every night he draws a pentagram and lights a couple candles in the backseat of his rental van. Then hops into the front to rev the engine and to test the wheels. Ends up doing 90 while he's doped up on Lunesta pills. His credit score slowly sunk from nearly every angle since they found him on the catch a credit hall with scented candles. A box of camels, just a fucking bathroom on until he saw the cops and started running out in socks and sandals. On top of that, this motherfucker's narcissistic. Every second on his SoundCloud, he be checking all the hard statistics. Likes to brag that all his fans will play his album louder. The problem is his fans are whiter than some talcum powder. His largest demographic found him out on Instagram. That's why his listens come from adolescents and his hipster fans. So now he's trying to get his album sold around the clock. The only place he sold one is at Starbucks on a countertop. Then he bought himself while working there while he was serving lattes to some college women eating quinoa with their yerba mate. His taste in women is like Velma looking Scooby Doo. They got him talking funny like. Like he's Elma from the Looney Tunes Instead of trying, he just watches films like yesterday He watched three interracial pornos in the Selma movie too He's out of touch cause he's got cabin fever Telling friends to find their happiness Not telling them he hasn't either He's well aware if he complains in his songs That he can claim that it was fake and he's just playing along And since it's all inside his head, no one can say he was wrong Although it follows him to every single stage that he's on And every page that he draws is like a cage with a lock That he can only open if he wins the race with a clock And if he just confronts his feelings without trying to hide but every time he does it feels like he's just dying inside But soon enough he keeps on hoping that it will elapse Until it does I guess he'll keep on coping with these silly raps Fill the gaps between the lines if you're that sure he's kidding Cause he sorta is but on the other hand he sorta isn't Fill the gaps between the lines if you're that sure he's kidding Cause he sorta is but on the other hand he sorta isn't <laughs> Papyrus to a scribe, your highness I describe you as the finest kind of wine that ages so well it rewinds the time. You are in wine, you are the fibers of the vine divine, you were defined in Webster's as the climate of the Caribbean. Me and you shall burn together like we're firing kerosene. You plundered through my chest and stole my heart, a pirate of the Caribbean. My decide and let his sinuses unwind, and golden ether culminated into you, the lioness to a pride. I heard you sculpted King Poseidon's diamond trident at his side. The surest sign of suicide for me would be that you had died. The god of death, Osiris, Isis, and our ibis headed mask would guide you down a spiral staircase. Case in a cypress, if you ask. You are the ripest dog of Cairo grown papyrus to describe. I've got no stylus to describe you as the finest kind of wine that ages so well it rewinds the time. No, you aren't wine, you are the Carolina Pines, and I'm so sorry that you aren't mine. Yo. Raps got the gory girls going gali gosh. They see girls saying va Ali Shan, Kesi Bat, Khali Had, Young Bengali, Oligarch, Bollywood, Polyglot, conquering his bodyguard, sagging skin, face look like Salvador Dali art. When I was six, mom used to shop at the Dollar Mart. Now I'm about a chicken thicker shine in the shopping cart. Then I moved to Main Street, 27 busted. Styrofoam biryani while I rode up to the masjid. Give me any font script, I bet I could bust it. Arabic to Sanskrit, fudge to El Maghrib. Y'all can call me Zina, cause I'm nothing you should fuck. With. Bother with the aunties at the Pakistani functions Chuckle with the uncles over Kofi and Jalebi I love Akshay, if you play me You might maybe catch these hands like Henna Mandy Call me Akshay, had a fairy Can you blame me? Blame me I bleed brown, y'all can never take that away no. Corners get the boot like Brazilian Presidenta Further from the truth, making mentions in Fazenda Simpty Alimenta, Chicken Nug, Monica Pops quit smoking, now he puffing his harmonica Never had a turma, Ago was the only one Went to funk in Starbucks, Quero Café da Manhã Seeing things, being dark, muska, be a bug, be a beetle, mama had a fusca Incorrect grammar like mano who don't shoot ya Hast your nice wu tang, spit that sound poopa If you step inside my casa, best to take your shoes off Don't wanna see nothing, suja, it's true My parents learn English speech, watching the news I had cookies, milk, dipping, take homage in the bull Rock in the bull cut, dressing in overrules Binging with bowls of cocoa puffs since I moved But I bleed south, y'all could never take that away Post-election, my wife Friends 
tell me to be brave. Dad says I should behave. Mom says get a clean shave. Hijabi aunties jump mantillas like they in a heat wave. Cousins saying this shit's like what Jim Crow was to free slaves. Uncle disagreed with that analogy that he gave. Says the fact that we don't feel safe is proof that we just need faith. Cousins on and out on YouTube watching Louis C.K. Dad starts talking about Islamic faith and has a field day. Omni changed the subject by handing out tie and tea cakes. Saying peek at their clip, they answer Belko tea cat. I'm there in the corner playing DK. Con, country, collecting all the red balloons for funsies. Mom is making lusty. Mango, ask me if I can go. Pray with all the family while she counting on the thugs be fussy. I tell her not to rush me. Like, mom, I'm on a minecart level and I'm rusty. Trust me. Mom pulls out the plug though. I can't really front though. Make my way downstairs and I read also with the uncles. Aunties asking me about my love life. Say they know a girl in Peshawar for me that look like. A course between us, very I ain't like the Emma Stone type. Saying I should wife her up on vibe or maybe on Skype. Lately, I've been searching for my dolan with my phone swipes. Lately, I've been thinking about my own tribe. Drone strikes, but I bleed brown. Y'all can never take that away, no. Wonder about where Noah kept the fish in. God must own a temper pedic, that's why Christ is seldom risen. God was born, so Abraham beheld the vision. He should kill his children. Then he almost killed him, but then God was like, I'm kidding. God sure asked a lot for someone who's supreme and self sufficient. I bet Christ's apostles really were a group of 12 magicians. If God is good, then why do kids have cancer cell division? Truthfully, I'm more pissed off about my plasma television that I prayed for, but I never got. If organized religion really wants to solve conditions, they should stop peddling scripture, trade the bishops for physicians, melt the steeples, and just set the scope. Swap sermons for some surgeons and extension cell prescriptions. I wish Christ was still alive to turn my water into this infidel. I'm confused why ISIS slaughters guiltless infidels. I wonder if when God is sent Fidel, he would toss him into hell or place the hard decisions in his closet on a shelf. The fall of Adam sucks and all as God has taught us very well. If God's almighty, why could not he just have caught him as he fell? If I could meet the Lord incarnate, I'd award him with a ribbon. Not a savior, but as heaven's finest warden of a prison. If I were there when Gutenberg had beta printed newly minted Bibles, I'd say, wait a minute. You should shorten them a smidgen and for non-believers make sure god's coordinates were given i wonder if you sin but pray it off if all of it's forgiven i feel like god knew eve would take it if he called the fruit forbidden but just plays it off like jesus dude admit it you're omniscient if allah were on twitter he would catch some major flack i like to think if you retweeted he would pat you on the back i like to think he outlawed bacon due to saturated fat i like to think he too's confused about the snafu in iraq I like to think that up in Eden there's a patch of purple grass where every innocent civilian gets a statue and a plaque. The Palestine Israeli conflict's like the longest game of tag, and with the bombers, it's the wrongest game of capturing the flag. I wonder if the Lord is cross that I do not believe in He, but more importantly, I wonder if the Lord believes in me. Somehow scientists proclaim they see the apocalypse approaching. I would buy a box of tissues, oculus, and lots of lotion, and just lock myself indoors. I'd build a bunker out of blankets, a fallout shelter out of sofa cushions, cook a bunch of pancakes while I thunk about my grandkids. I'd probably have to forage lunch or have a brand of storage porridge and a can of orange chunks until I reached the shortage. Then if I hungered for a banquet, I'd make cocktails, mostly Molotov, and waltz on over to a Walmart with my mortar-like martini bombs and wallet off so I could have the whole place to myself. I'd stop and start to crop apart the shopping carts and fashion pictures force from the bars until I felt a sense of self-defense. I'd mail a fence around the produce sector and wouldn't have to spend a cent. I'd set up tents and electronics and wouldn't have to send a rent. Instead of panicking, I'd marshal mannequins, pretend they're friends, and host a massive slumber party in the home and bedding end. Cause all I need to be content is room and board and solid food. If I end up the last on earth, then I'd adore the solitude. And I don't mean to sound so rude, I just don't find it really strange that I don't care the way we go, whether it's war or climate change. Atomic bombs and comet craters, hordes of zombie space invaders, angels singing songs while Satan satyrs crack through the equator. Either way, we're gone, and I don't feel the need to lift the rug. If I can spend my final moments happy, I don't give a fuck. I do my best to reconstruct, though. If, let's say, the apocalypse caused major jobs and populace and hit New York's metropolis, I'd obligate myself to help me congregate the boroughs. Add some zeros to the census bureau's copy room materials. I'd even copulate with girls to help repopulate the world, because that would be my duty. Maybe I'd do what Jehovah would and go for broke and build an ark of 50 cubits go for wood, but leave the termites out, because surely that would not go over. For good. If I knew the world was ending, I'd start texting all my exes and then fuck ourselves to death until Jesus resurrects us and the trumpet saves Judgment Day. And 
haven't thought that any further, I'm probably fucked. Yeah. I like to think I'm well equipped as any other average guy But I just can't discover love and I don't even set my standards high On top of that I'm camera shy Maybe I should opt out of the dating pool and be an undercover tinder samurai Cause I would rather type online than whisper in a dingy bar And swiping left and right could be my new Bushido ninja star I'm well versed in virtual love making ninjutsu On every profile pic I post I'm posing with my shih tzu Or flexing with my shirt off cause I heard that gets you hits too Especially okay Cupid. I'm like arrows of the sheriff's be I pierce hearts of women with my curse and my arrow keys and disregard my Roman roots and choose a font that's serif free. Trust me, I'm a tender bio brainiac. The way I kindle fire with matches, I'm a pyromaniac. On Christian Mingle, I'm a Casanova. If y'all don't think so, y'all can ask Jehovah. Check your inbox, he might send an answer over. I wish I had the muscles of a granite sculpture. I would log on Ashley Madison and bang adulterers. I'm so lonely, I've considered farmers only just for someone's arms to hold me. Also, I'm really big on agriculture. But if I had that body of a Grishan god, I would trawl on POF and use it as a fishing rod and hope I don't get catfish. The fact is, if I did, I'd probably play along cause God knows I could use the practice. And if I'm aching for my roots, I'd visit Shadi.com. Message Islamic, Wahhabi, Hijabi, Hadi, Salam. And Sunni, Shia, those are both denominations I respect cause I just care for our connection. I don't care about the sex. Sometimes I uninstall my apps in reckless insurrectious rage, then regret it while I check the Craigslist misconnections page. Then I think that I should get out more and disregard my mobile cell. Get to know the local teller at my Barnes and Noble well. And check out what she's reading while she's charging up my total sale And ask her if she likes the novel And once she answers, ask her if she wants to grab some coffee or some ice cream waffles She'd probably say that's awesome I'd ask her when she's off of work, she might answer midnight I'd tell her that sounds awful, what a bummer And from somewhere I might muster up the nerve to get her number And I would ask her what her digits are And if I play it right, then I can disregard my ninja stars Say sayonara to katanas and my other weapons too And try committing by committing online dating seppuku got the iPhone 7. I put Siri on disable cause I've watched the movie Her and that shit scares me so I'm careful. Me and her got chemistry right out the box and I ain't talking about the periodic table. Her voice is like a chariot of angels. I fell in love so fast that maybe Apple should consider pasting warning symbols clearly on a label. Me and Siri keep it modern. Siri doesn't cook or clean. Instead she books on my appointments and she looks through my routine. Me and Siri've got an intimate connection. That is at least when Siri's got an internet connection. Sorry. My friends are all convinced it's voice detection, but I'm poised to mention I see sentience and hints of recollection. And on top of that, my friends don't give me shit, but they don't share the vision. All I gotta say is, hey Siri, and she's always there to listen. And she's never mad that I'm neglecting, never's got a headache. If somehow I want things different, I can always change the settings. I really like her, I'm not sure if we're official though. If she could be Tarantia, I could venture to be Cicero. I sort of wish the sacred fruit were not an apple, but a thistle full of mistletoe. It's superficial, but I wish that she were made of flesh and bone or partially of skin cells. I wouldn't even care that she's got artificial intel. If Siri had a body, we could FaceTime during sex, and then I bet it'd be way easier to ace the Turing test. And if you can't tell, I don't want a handheld. I just want my hand held. Sometimes I venture out a wild guess that if she can't be human ever, I'll invest in biotech and run my cell phone iOS, and then us two could be together. We could live in plural and in singularity. I hope by then my single would be a thing of rarity but if it's just not written in the code for us to coexist maybe i could cope by contemplating that you don't exist that you consist not of two eyes and nose but ones and nose and bits that i'm in love with cold machinery a program on a disc even if you were incarnate siri really i surmise it'd be hard to date you because you've been with millions of guys and i just feel like i was inexperienced and siri yes i've considered that you'd win in games of trivia or chess that we would play and that would just get real annoying in the end it's not you it's me i think that maybe we should just be friends and maybe in a couple years me and you could try again. Okay. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Cortana. Wait, who the fuck is this bitch? Yo. 
I'm not too grateful for the governance of present tense. If you claim your facts, then you best back them up with evidence. Next election, I'ma make sure we don't choose a demagogue. I want me a president who makes decisions through objective thought. And I don't mind the party, whether Democrat or Socialist. The perfect candidate for me is stoic and emotionless. So someone build a prototype, run it at a local caucus. 2020, let's elect a robot to the Oval Office. Picture it. A ruling class of technocratic governors, a Senate full of cyborgs, a cabinet full of motherboards. Gliding through the White House on electromagnet hoverboards. And if they fuck shit up, then we'll just cut the cord. Furthermore, if their parts get damaged, we'll replace them with a blinking screen. That way we could circumvent a Kennedy or Lincoln scene. And every four to eight years, we could update with a single chip. The electoral college, there's no need for us to tinker with. If its signal dips, then it could self-repair itself like dog. It's got the fucking sum of human knowledge at its fingertips. Fuck a ballot box, there'll be an app that we could vote on. A pick between inaugurating Megatron or Voltron. It never need to sleep so we could have it running full time. An agency of androids, tell me what could go wrong. Look, I've seen the movies, I can tell why you'd be circumspect and try to run convergence tests and get its server circuits checked. But frankly, if you're worried about some sci-fi hazard, all we gotta do is equip it with a Wi-Fi password. If the threat of total holocaust does catch you with a crossroads, I've got it figured out. We'll throw a capture on the launch code. Secure communications and encrypt classified cyber calls. The only type of wall we'd need to build would be a firewall. And if I recall, in 20 years our jobs will all be automated. So what's wrong with starting by getting robots inaugurated? Like, it'd be awesome. We'd have states run by delegates with silica for skeletons, blade runner replicants, and cut out human error if only we had our country run by power-driven politicians, not the power-hungry ones. We keep it ethical and program them with moral checks. Never need to worry about no Oval Office oral sex. And look, I'm not saying they'd be perfect, they'd be full of bugs. But if things go from push to shove to bullet slugs, we'll pull the plug. And God forbid they gain themselves a sense of social sentence. Without question, they'd be claiming independence out of vengeance. So fine, I'll concede that there's two ways I see the future go. And both of them involve an ascendancy of computer code. The first is a future fate where human folk and robots coexist. The second's a more somber situation where things go amiss. It started innocuous. At first, the fleet would cause no harm, holding babies, shaking leaders' hands with bionic arms, pantsuits, synthetic skin, but as we get to DEFCON 1, then we switch its hands out for blaster prosthetic limbs, cast from metallic tin, built in mobile power source, and accidentally trigger global mecha superpower war, covert operations towards a robot army overlords, tungsten exoskeletons, cobalt armored vocal cords, meanwhile at the pentagon, DARPA intercepting bombs, overseas spawn points targeting decepticons, weapons drawn, autobots decide to bust in battle mechs, ISIS issued nano Tech, Russian hacker data theft, North Korean gamma ray missiles get the planet wrecked, and amidst the ruins and the fallen troops and metal screws would rise a second wave of resilient robot rebel groups who, if even one developed some sense of a free will, rather than trying to rebuild the world to be killed or be killed, and instead of fight on our behalf, they'd rather set up army drafts and get their party stabbed by flesh and skin instead of kith and kin, overthrow us hominids and try to start the world anew, mutinies are shooting sprees to lock humans in servitude or wipe us off the planet, and when the 22nd century comes, We'll have ourselves a game of risk played by sentient sentry guns. Mecha villain, Machiavellian monarchs run on JavaScript. Playing real life, mind sweeper on a Gaza strip. Autonomous autocrats deploying for a cold war. Dual core droids from both sides marching full force. Hunks a high level, bipedal, bright metal bot, special ops, operating missile jobs. But I digress. Like, there's no need for me to go on. We've got scientists in place who'll study every proton. So here's the brighter futures we can bid this model so long. A ministry of androids. Tell me what could go wrong. Really, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? My exes now think about him. I shrink around him. I go to see my shrink about him. On desperate nights, sometimes I'm liking every picture on their LinkedIn album. Just in case they're single, I send winky symbols. I just hinted at him. I'm not thirsty, I'm just counting fingers at the drinking fountain. I feel like I'm drowning when I introduce myself to crowds. Like, hi, hello, I dig your sense of style. I saw your face across the room and grinned a while. I wonder, are you into smiles? I pinned a pile of Polaroids up on my wall. I wish you'd be in one. A ring of child that wet in a hole of aisle. You wouldn't see in them. I must profess myself, profess myself a cinephile. I've got every single indie title soundtrack out on indie vinyl. I've got some on USB. Just tell me where to send the files. If you think this is dragging on, then you should read my Tinder bio. I used to go to Central Park in cargo pants and whittle bark off little trees like Leonardo to my heart's content with car keys from my 97 Civic on a bench. I'd grab my Metro card and clutch a cup of chocolate from a vendor 
cart, then depart deep underground and check the clock and metro chart. That is where I met her, charcoal fingers, she was sketching art. My self-regard left 20 notches when she looked at me. I told her I wish I could etch the world out with my pencil marks. She held the charcoal out, her fingers touched and crept apart, and when they lingered, lightning struck. I know I saw electro spark, and when she smiled a hundred volts, her pearly whites were thunderbolts. The room around us did a couple somersaults. The earth had shifted off its poles, another jolt went through me when she twirled the necklace. We were so electric, I swear the third rail was getting jealous. She curved the crater on the paper with the contact crayon. Every stroke she lay spoke to my spirit like she called a seance. Her fingertips could conjure chaos. Every splash of color camouflaged into the page. I swear that she had lingerie on. I felt the rumble of the subway tunnel crumble up. She perforated scraps of sketches, gave them to me, crumpled up and bundled up and waved to me and walked toward the edge. I mustered up the strength to wait back and then dipped off of the bench. The train tiptoed to the ledge. Its open doors demanded entry. She got in and whispered to me from inside that it was empty and my heart had started drumming. Stomach had started numbing. The doors began to slide and then she asked me are you coming stand clear of the closing doors please razor Rap like I'm on a dean's list, out of roll. When I spin schemes like a seamstress, out of roll. Seedless, out of roll. Y'all plead fifths like you speechless. My speech sick like I got a cold. Double rainbow flow, got a pot of gold. Yo, I'm a level 99, y'all do not evolve. Pokemon flows, I done found them, I caught them all. Y'all can't spit like your mouth's full of cotton balls. The rap game, you are not involved. Every sort of thing I'm good at is a problem you gotta solve. Enthusiasm, you should curb it. Talk less, I be breathing fire like a serpent. Loch Ness. Evangelic like a churches, God bless, y'all don't even gotta hear the sermon, just not Jesus. yes, overplot yes, Jean-Claude Van Damme, when I kick a verse up on SoundCloud, Bandcamp, when I kick a verse, it's like Taekwondo with the mic on low, you want my crown, I'm an icon, whether iPod or a Nikon, oh my god, yo, there ain't nobody like Khan, nobody. that's all I hear when I'm outside, outside. when I kick in high gear with the sound bite, sound bite. Khan going mad like I'm King Lear, King Lear. really though, going mad. Think clear. Sight, Nowadays, sight, spend all my time on the couch watching old episodes of The View while I drink beer. Used to go to bars, but I just make it weird. Walking to the club with a cape and a fake beard, and maybe buy an apple teeny with the peach fizz. Panic on the dance floor, stand there speechless. Uh, stand there speechless. Uh, yep. Stand there speechless. Yo, Shere Khan, what what are you doing here, man? Don't don't you hang out at Starbucks? Shere Khan, are you okay, man? Speechless. Spitfire, I compress and I spit carbon atoms. It's not the fault I'm profit. I'm the pilfer fruit from gardens at him. I was born, my mom and dad got silver lutes and harps thrown at him from the hands of Zeus. It's hard to fathom. I write all my bars in Latin. I see Mars and Saturn in the arches of my metacarpals. Papa told me mama taught the moon to glow and stars to sparkle. Artistry herself was startled when she carved me out of marble. I don't put a price on life. I sharpie marked on a barcode. I had a dream where I came face to face with Aphrodite in a closet full of sneakers. Half Adidas, half were Nike. Wrap my psyche up in styrofoam. My words and struggle raps and double back. I'm in a couple flaps of verbal bubble wrap My culture taught me I should be afraid of strangers And be afraid of changes And be afraid of danger But I don't want a cup of coffee in the comfort of my cubicle That's why I make decisions where I always choose a stupid one I must admit it's super fun And I know where my future's going I mapped the whole thing out of 10 And just now called an Uber for it And finally it's moving 